Good afternoon, everybody. Welcome to this newly renovated terminal here at Louisville International Airport. Uh, my name is Jim Welch. I'm the chairman of the board of uh, the Louisville Regional Airport Authority. And it's my privilege on behalf of the board of directors and our staff and many of our community partners um, to welcome you to this event. And really, I think of this as just a great Christmas present uh, Christmas, Christmas present to uh, the citizens of Louisville and to all of our traveling uh, public here, a gift for the holiday season. We are still, of course, putting the finishing touches on some of this, but it's, it's mostly complete. We're very, very excited to unveil this to everyone in the community. I think you'll experience a much brighter, much more open, more contemporary um, look and feel more welcoming uh, terminal here. We have three and a half million people that come through this building every single year. Half of them are from around here and half of them aren't. So it's a real statement about the essence of Louisville, what makes uh, our community unique and special. And we really want people to have a sense for what that is when they're here um, in our new terminal. Um, what you're seeing here is the result of a, a three-year project, a very collaborative one involving many people in the community. Um, we had uh, people from uh, the civic world, from the business world, the arts community, uh, academia, um, working together to really kind of put their finger on what makes uh, Louisville such a special place. And the result you see all around you, you can see that we're celebrating our neighborhoods, the things that we're really proud of here, um, our diversity of our community, um, our food and, and beverage world, our desire to entertain and host, our parks and open spaces. We're very proud of our crafts here, craftsmanship, uh, both new and old, including um, our traditional manufacturing as well as our new advanced manufacturing. Really, and these are some of the many different dimensions that make Louisville special. And you'll see this imagery throughout the terminal. Uh, it's the, uh, we're, we invested quite a bit of money in this. The airport invested nine and a half million dollars. And our uh, concessionaire partners, the host partners, um, the Tinsley family I know is here representing HMS hosts in Paradis, invested uh, over $8 million, so well over $17 million invested in this new terminal. And um, so we're very grateful to be able to give this to the community today. I have to say one of the people who um, was uh, encouraging us to do this was none other than our mayor. I remember getting a few texts from him a few years ago as he was traveling through the airport terminal going, you know, we really need to give this thing a facelift. And so um, he was one of the er early proponents of it. Uh, we've really appreciated his support in doing this. And so glad you're here, Mr. Mayor. I'm sure you have a few words to share with us. Thank you. You were right there, too. <laughs> well, thanks, everybody. And thanks to uh, Chairman Welch here. Uh, he was also, uh, he didn't disagree when we said we can uh, lighten this up. Uh, Phil Lynch, former board chair, also Skip Miller. I mean, everybody was said it, it was time. So that was what was wonderful. And once we decided that, it really hadn't taken very long to do this in the scope of large construction projects. And when you kind of stand here and are looking out from any, this perspective, but any perspective in the airport, it's just, it's really beautiful. I mean, it's, it's light, it's airy. It's the kind of place when you walk through as a traveler that you can say, this is a city that's got something going on here. And you showed pride. I think in your airport, the way it's designed. So uh, the, the end result has really, really been positive here. So uh, I'm sure we'll be walking through here to take a further look at that. But congratulations to everybody that's been involved with this. Uh, Councilman Johnson, I want to recognize him, who's here as well. Thank you, Dan, for being here. And then Gil Holland, I know, was part of the design team as well. I saw him here earlier as well. So a lot of folks went into taking uh, an ownership in this. Uh, this very much is the front porch of our city, and we've all got a lot of pride in what's going on in Louisville right now. We're going through a real renaissance uh, as a community with 60,000 new jobs created in the last six years, almost 3,000 new businesses, 45 percent 
of Louisville adults now have a college degree, either a two or four year degree. The national average is 41% on that. 10,000 people worked themselves out of poverty just this past year. So our city's firing. And it's important that when visitors arrive here, they also see an airport that's got those very, uh, that kind of enthusiasm and momentum and a, and a sense of a renaissance behind it. And that's what you see here at the airport. Uh, you're also seeing a practical response to uh, increasing amount of visitors that we've got coming to our city. 24 million tourists coming to Louisville now, and I'm sure Cleo will talk about that in a second. Uh, but for that, I say thank you to a bunch of good uh, folks here in our city and our sense of hospitality, and I say thank you bourbonism as well. You know, when we were talking about bourbonism five years ago, we didn't know how it would uh, take off. Uh, Jim Welch's form, uh, former company, Brown Foreman, certainly had been doing well on the operations side, but would people respond to it as a 24-7 tourism experience? And boy, people have really responded from all over the world to bourbonism, and I think on a scale of 1 to 10, we're probably at about a 3 or so. So it's going to really take off in terms of its potential, and it's important when those folks arrive here at the airport, uh, they see that, and that they also see some other of the iconic images that are associated with our city. Certainly Muhammad Ali uh, is prominently featured, our, our most famous uh, son here from the city. Uh, Churchill Downs, uh, one of our newer sons, Teddy Abrams is here as well. Uh, Woodford Reserve, Thunder Over Louisville, uh, the Slugger Museum, it goes on and on. These are all part of the iconic images of our city. But first and foremost, it's about setting the tone for our city. So when you arrive here, you're saying, I'm coming to a place where something is happening, and you have high expectations for your visit. And then what we do is we exceed those expectations for people's visit, and we exceed those expectations for their experience here in our city, in this airport experience as well. So that's what's exciting about this. It's not just the experience here, but then it's what it projects into the city as well. So this very much is a front porch front experience for our city and its arts, its culture, its built environment. Uh, it's just a beautiful way to say greetings. Welcome to our city and we want you to come back time and time again. And if you're from here and you're coming to the airport, it's a nice warm embrace to welcome home. Welcome back to the city that you love. So on behalf of all 760,000 of our citizens, I want to say thanks to the entire team that put this together, Alliance, uh, we're constructors, all of our vendors here, George, you and your team, uh, for doing something that's authentically Louisville that we're all very proud of. Congratulations, good job, and I believe now we're going to hear from Cleo Battle, Senior Vice President of the Convention and Visitors Bureau, a great asset for our community. Cleo. Well, this is great. Uh, and I, I hope you all think it is as great as we do at the Convention Visitors Bureau. Um, I want to begin by applauding the, the, the airport authority for the authentic decor, the Louisville authentic decor that the mayor just mentioned. Uh, obviously, our goal at the Convention and Visitors Bureau are to bring visitors to town, whether they're corporate visitors, leisure visitors, or meeting and convention visitors. And the airport is the first and last experience that many of those visitors have. So this is a critical aspect of everything we do at the Convention and Visitors Bureau to attract visitors to this community. Um, I want to take a moment. We, we recently hosted a national corporate sales meeting last month in November, and we got a note back, coincidentally, from a customer who was here talking about the airport. Customer said, you all have the best airport in the country. Even with the remodeling, it's easier to get in and out of more than, in, easier to get in and out of here more than 90% of other airports. And it's always staffed by personal greeters. It's always clean and easy to navigate. That's what we're looking for in a customer. That is awesome. So again, on behalf of the Convention and Visitors Bureau, I want to applaud the, um, the airport authority for their work here with the authentic decor. Thank you. Thank you, Cleo. 
Yeah, and I, one other thing I did want to highlight is just the incredible work our staff has done. Um, trying to redo all this and keep it open and operating was quite a challenge, and Skip Miller and his team, Brian Sinwell and others, just did a masterful job of, of making this happen. And Gil, I forgot to mention your name earlier, but I'm glad the mayor remembered. Thank you for your bring, really bringing the community together. So uh, without further ado, we're going to have officially a ribbon cutting over here. <laughs>